NASA astronauts Barry Butch Wilmore and Sunita Sunny Williams have finally returned to Earth after an unplanned nine-month mission aboard the International Space Station. Their SpaceX Crew Dragon capsule splashed down off the coast of Florida on the 18th of March, finally bringing their journey to an end. The pair originally launched in June 2024 aboard Boeing Starliner for what was meant to be a 10-day test flight. However, technical problems with Starliner meant it was too risky for them to return home. The capsule returned to Earth empty in September leaving the astronauts stranded until NASA arranged another way back. Their return flight came aboard a SpaceX capsule that had arrived at the ISS in late September with two empty seats. However, this meant the mission now had a planned six-month stay, extending Wilmore and Williams' time in orbit. While they waited, they helped with station maintenance, conducted experiments, and adapted to life as long-term crew members. Williams, who holds the record for the most spacewalking time by a female astronaut, added more hours outside the station. After months of delays, they finally returned on SpaceX's Dragon Freedom. Down. The astronauts were helped onto stretchers after landing, a normal step after a long time in space. According to experts, long-term missions in space have a significant impact on the body, with astronauts losing bone density and suffering muscle loss. In order for their bodies to readapt to living with gravity, the pair will reportedly be given an extensive exercise regime. Medical experts will also be monitoring their recovery before eventually reuniting with their families.